In this video, we'll discuss hemifacial atrophy and facial myokemia. So what's hemifacial atrophy? In hemifacial atrophy, there is disappearance of fat from one side of the face. Affected side of the face is gone and the skin is thin, wrinkled and brown. There is atrophy of half of upper lip and tongue. Facial hair may turn white and sebaceous gland atrophy. There is delayed eruption or wasting of teeth and reduced growth of jaw on the affected side. Jaw deviates to one side when patient opens the mouth. There is a white line furrow mark on one side of the face near midline. Etiology is unknown. The next topic facial myokemia and myokemia. In facial myokemia, there are fine rippling activity of the facial muscles. Cause of the condition is multiple sclerosis, Guillain-Barr syndrome, and facial nerve tumors in the brain stem. Lesion is probably intramedullary close to facial nucleus. Facial myokemia is a fine rippling or chronic facial spasm of facial muscles on one side. Both sides of the face may be affected successively. Twitching of the face is common, usually abrupt, benign and often bilateral. It is performed to relieve tension and is always accentuated by tension. Focal twitching of one corner of the mouth occurs episodically in some other conditions like focal Jacksonian epilepsy, phenothiazine therapy, chorea, Sydenham chorea, Huntington chorea and hepatolenticular degeneration or Wilson disease. Myokemia. Facial myokemia must be distinguished from benign myokemia of the lower lid. Involuntary, spontaneous, localized quivering of few muscles or bundles within a muscle on the lower lip. In myokemia, there is involuntary eyelid muscle contraction, typically involving the lower eyelid or less often the upper one. It resolves itself.